Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our PRP seat covers onto the 2018 NUP Jeep Wrangler JL. Our seat covers are designed to fit right over your stock JL upholstery and give your Jeep a brand new look with an OEM looking fit and finish. Our covers are available to order in five basic covers or you can head over to prpseats.com and design your own custom covers with over 60 different colors and materials to choose from. Now one thing to know before you order is that there are a few different variations of our seat covers depending on if you have a two-door or four-door Jeep Wrangler and if you have a Rubicon or non-Rubicon edition. Today we're going to be working on a four-door JL Rubicon edition but we're going to cover all the different options and everything you'll need to know to install on all of the different models. Once you order your covers, you should receive them boxed up. Depending on how long they've been in that box, the covers may have some folds, creases, wrinkles, kind of everything like that. So before you install them on your vehicle, our best advice is to take them outside, leave them in the sun, let the material kind of warm up, even out, flatten out, and get all those creases out of it. So a quick summary of all the steps we're gonna go through. You're gonna remove the headrest, on the Rubicon editions, you're gonna remove the plastic molly piece on the back of the seat. We're gonna install the bottom cover, install the top cover. If you have the Rubicon edition, you're then gonna put that plastic molly piece back on the back of the seat. Then we're gonna put the cover on the headrest and put the headrest back on. First step is gonna to be to remove the headrest. Use the button on the side, pull the headrest up and out. The next step is for the Rubicon editions that have this plastic molly piece on the back of the seat. Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it off, uh, then later on, after we slip the top cover over, we're gonna replace it and put it back on to the back of the seat. How to do this is down below, you have this carpet piece that's attached with two elastic bands. Underneath the seat, there's two little white plastic hooks that hold those elastic bands on. Just use your finger, pop them off, and pull this carpet piece up. Underneath this carpet piece, there are two Phillips screws. You're going to unscrew both of those. This plastic piece is held on with a couple different plastic clips around the sides. So once you have these two screws off, kind of pop your hand underneath it and slowly just work your way around popping the piece off. Make sure you take a close look at the cover before you put it on. Make sure it doesn't have a cutout hole here. That would be for the driver's side. How this cover attaches is with several different elastic bands with Velcro. So once you put the cover on, feed both sides down around the seat. Then underneath the seat, you're gonna attach these elastic bands to each other. These two plastic clips hook on to the metal struts underneath the seat. And these front elastic bands go all the way to the back and attach the Velcro on the back of the seat. Now to allow us a little bit better access to underneath the seat, we're gonna remove these four bolts, two in the front, two in the back, with a T50 socket that hold the seat bracket to the vehicle. Now it's entirely up to you whether you wanna remove the seat completely from the vehicle to put the cover on or leave it in. What we've done is just leave it in the vehicle and with those four bolts removed, we just tip it back and we're able to get great access to underneath the seat. When you're feeding these straps through, make sure they go over the top of the slider rail, not underneath it. If they go underneath, they're gonna hit against the mounting plate. On both outside corners, you're gonna attach these little plastic clips to the metal base on the bottom of the seat. On the outside corner, there's a large kind of square here that's open, cut into the metal. 
you can attach that plastic clip there. Then on the inside corner, there's a little slot here that's the perfect width for this clip, and you're gonna attach the clip there. Once you're done with that, we're gonna connect these three elastic straps all the way back, going over this metal bar, and they're gonna connect on that back flap that you pulled through the seat with three different Velcro strips on the back of that. Once you've connected all the straps on the bottom, I usually like to do a once over um, on the top cover, move it around. Uh, if you have any different creases or wrinkles or things like that, kind of try to flatten those out, work those out, and also make sure that the cover is just kind of seated correctly where it needs to. Uh, if you have a little bit of movement in it as well, go on the bottom, basically re-tighten all those straps, make sure it's sitting as nice, tight, and snug on the seat as you can. Now, we're gonna put on the top cover. Just like the bottom, make sure you have the correct one, right or left, driver or passenger. Uh, quick reference, you're gonna have this slot in the side that is for the side impact airbag. Basically, whatever cover you have, you wanna make sure that's on the out, outside shoulder of the vehicle. For the Rubicon edition, you're gonna see all these different slots that allow you to then clip on the plastic Molly piece back onto the back of the seat after we're done putting the cover on. For the non-Rubicon editions, you're just on the back, you're just gonna have a large kind of pocket. So, pretty straightforward. Take the cover, lay it over the top of the seat, and pull it down. On the top, you're gonna to have these two holes for the headrest. What you wanna do is start on one side, push that hole underneath the plastic, and then work your way around so it fits snug underneath. Once that's done, you're gonna zip up this sidearm, then take the excess and tuck it back underneath the plastic. On the edges on the side here, do your best to kind of tuck that under and make it flush with the plastic. Work your way around the seat, see if there's any small little imperfections or things like that. Uh, make sure the cover is sitting on the seat how it's supposed to and make sure everything is tucked in on the sides and corners. Then on the back, you're gonna go and connect these two flaps on the back and the one that you push through the bottom. Then you're gonna connect the two flaps on the back with the Velcro strip. If you have the Rubicon edition, you're then gonna reinstall the plastic back. So start by tucking in the material down here on the bottom back and underneath the plastic, or behind the plastic. If you have any trouble really getting in there, you can use a flathead screwdriver and just kind of gently tuck it underneath the plastic. Just be very careful. Then, once you're done with that, you see kind of the mesh material in here. You want that to lay over the top and over the front of the seat. So, kind of start at the top, use your fingers, and just kind of smooth and work that material down so it's laying flat and flush against the seat. Once you're happy with it, we're gonna reinstall the four bolts holding the seat mount to the vehicle. And the last step, you're gonna put on the headrest. Uh, remember there are two different headrests for front and rear. The front ones are gonna be a little bit smaller. Uh, the back ones, rear ones, are gonna be a little bit taller or bigger. So make sure you open up all the flaps and then you're just gonna slide it over the top. Then on the bottom, you're gonna connect the two 
outside Velcro straps first, then connect the big center strap. Depending on how long your covers were wrapped up in the box, you still may have some small little dimples or creases. Over time, as you use the seat more and sit on it, those will kind of flatten out and your seat will be looking great. Now, we're gonna start on the driver's side seat. All the steps are basically gonna be exactly the same. The only real difference with the driver's seat is it has this extra adjustment knob here, which the cover just has an extra slot that you can put over. So to reiterate the steps, you're going to take off the headrest. If you have the Rubicon Edition, take off the plastic Molly piece in the back. Unbolt the seat base from the floor. Put on the bottom cover and attach all the elastic bands. Put on the top cover, zip up the side, and attach the Velcro at the bottom. If you have the Rubicon Edition, you're then going to reattach the plastic Molly back. Rebolt the seat to the floor. Put on the headrest cover, and reattach the headrest. And that's a wrap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or email sales at prpseats.com.